Welcome to our glory group to hear the breaking news. Yes, the dam at the Kakhovk hydropower plant in southern Ukraine has become the latest casualty in the Russia Ukraine conflicts. The Russian occupied city of Nova Kakhova in southern Ukraine, home to the dam that Moscow and Kyiv have accused each other of targeting is flooded, officials told Russian media Tuesday. The city is flooded. Vladimir Leontayev, the Russian installed head of the city administration, told Russian media Leontayev said residents of around 300 homes had been evacuated. The Russian occupied city of Nova. Kakhova in southern Ukraine, home to the dam that Moscow and Kyiv have accused each other of attacking, is flooded, officials said Tuesday. Russian television showed images of the city that lies on the Dnipro River with its central square entirely flooded and swan swimming near the main Soviet era house of culture. What is rising? Vladimir Leontayev. The Russian installed head of the city administration said on Telegram. He said 53 buses were being sent by authorities to take people from Novaya Kakhova and two nearby settlements to safe areas. We are organizing temporary accommodation centers with hot meals, he said. Emergency rescue city administration workers and soldiers are at work. He said, help will, be, be, help will be given to all those who need it. Leon Thayep posted a video of himself looking at the city from a high-rise building with the flooded central square and the Dinpro river in the background. A reporter on Russian state television speaking from the square said water was rising around a statue of Lenin erected by Moscow's forces after taking control of the city on the first day of their offensive. The dam at the Kakho Kaba hydropower plant in southern Ukraine has become the latest casualty in the Russian Ukraine conflict, with both countries accusing the other of the attack. The dam blowing up has unleashed floodwaters in the war zone. Ukraine authorities have said that the water could reach critical levels in the next five hours. Water will reach critical levels also. Regional Governor Oleg Sandir Prokudin said in a video on his Telegram channel, Russia has called the damage to the dam as deliberate sabotage by Ukraine to cut off the water supply to the Russian-held Crimean Peninsula. We can already unequivocally declare this was deliberate sabotage by the Ukrainian side, Kremlin spokesperson David T. Peskov said. The International Atomic Energy Agency, the UN's nuclear watchdog, said that it saw no immediate nuclear safety risks but was exploring options to get water to keep cooling. Europe's biggest atomic plant, the dam bridge in southern Ukraine. BN the report, Glory Globe TV, Delhi, India.